In this video, I want to show you um, a radio, uh, it's a transceiver, both a transmitter and a receiver that uh, I have been working on. Um, first, let me show you the prototype that I, um, I have been putting together and it looks just like this. Okay, so both LEDs are on meaning I can go ahead and um, as you can see the um, the uh, front uh, indicator right here and I can start and um, I can monitor this one through a spectrum analyzer which is connected to a, um, a dummy load over here so when I uh, flick up on the transmit switch here you will see the level which is uh, 10.75 dBms uh, adding 30 dBs to 10 dBms, you got uh, roughly 40 dBms, which is about 10 watts out of this box today, right? Now let's go. Let me show you the schematic. So this is a uh, LT Spice uh, schema um, schematic of that module. Uh, in order to make sure the thing runs well, I would typically would have to run a simulation and let me switch over and then let me say I would want to monitor the output right here okay let me switch over to this you will find that uh, uh, it is running it is creating a output waveform which is roughly all uh, in the order of uh, uh, almost 30 volts so that translates to almost 9 watts and uh, which correspond to what I am doing. And uh, the frequency between these two points, as you can see, roughly 119.84 and 120. So it's roughly correspond to um, 160 something nanosecond, which is roughly seven megahertz, which we talk about. Out of here, you can export uh, a netlist. And once you get that netlist, uh, I can merge it with a park list. So um, I'm creating a test module to show you um, what I had done. So first I opened the module that I was doing. And this essentially would be the list of the parks in my design. And then I can uh, Im import the net list. And by doing so, make sure I import only the nets. And I will select my test.net right and then I can import and as you can see uh, this is sort of like a uh, what they call the rat nest so let me let me switch and uh, go to my um, real designs the same one as this one but it's been routed well this include a uh, let me highlight this and then this is what the top copper looks like, which is pretty much solid, right? And the, the only thing that you uh, you find is uh, just one trace right here. So this is a solid copper plane. That's a good ground plane for analog design. Uh, now, let me turn on the top screen, turn off the top layer, and this is the bottom layer. All right, so once I get out of here, I would do is I will go ahead and generate something called the um, uh, generate the cam files which are the Gerber files let me uh, go ahead and uh, discard this and then once I generate the Gerber file and I bring up my Gerber viewer uh, importing the same Gerber files in here you can see the uh, board uh, outline you can see the drill files which are the little dots here you can see the um, the top silk, and now I'm going to bring in the um, um, the bottom copper, and also the uh, the top copper, which is more or less the solid sheet of uh, copper. All right. So once these things are uh, done, then it uh, goes on to um, some. PC board uh, manufacturers, and in this case, I choose uh, JLC PCB, and, and this is this is exactly what it 
should be looking like when it comes back to me. And as you can see, there's a strong resemblance between this and what I put into the free PCB tool as well as the uh, Gerber viewer have shown me. Right? Okay? So for uh, viewing. Bye -bye.